Yo, Deutsch connectors, Dutch connectors, German plugs. I'm gonna go over why DT connectors are absolutely fantastic and why they're great for all your automotive wiring projects. Most of your bigger manufacturers, Haltech being one of them, if there is ever an ancillary plug to be put onto a loom somewhere, they'll use a Deutsch connector. And the reason they use a Deutsch connector is because they're mint. I'm gonna explain the three different types of your DT connectors. There are a multitude of different Deutsch connectors, but your automotive application ones, generally your DT series. So you've got DTM, which is a Deutsch series mini connector. You've got DT, which is just a Deutsch series standard connector. And you've got DTP, which is a Deutsch series power connector. The only real difference between all three of them is how much power is safe to be run through that connector. Your DTM series, that's gonna be a safe, maybe 7.5 amp draw. Your DT series, that's gonna be a 13 amp draw. And your DTP series, you're good for about 25 amps on them. This would be a female connector for DTM. Yeah, so it's got this little sliding collar, which locks the weather seal in place. A DT series connector, slightly different, but the weather seal's on the male side on them. And then your DTP connectors, as you can see, pins are a fair bit chunkier. These have that sliding wedge again. So DTM and DTP are weather sealed on the female side. Your DT connectors, they're weather sealed on the male side. Because they're all relatively similar in how they work, I'm basically gonna show you how to pin one out using basic tools that you've probably got if you've done any form of automotive wiring before. I'll explain to you the differences on how the sealing ring works on your DTM and your DTP connectors, but they're really, really simple. They're really intuitive and anyone can jump on board with them. So whenever I'm doing anything wiring, I prefer to use open barrel terminals. So open barrel terminals will be the ones that you've probably seen a million times, and they've got two little open barrels on them. One of them is gonna crimp around the wire, and the other one is gonna crimp around the sleeving of the wire. If you were to buy a proper set of connectors, you'd probably be buying them with closed barrel, then you'd require a tool to crimp closed barrel terminals. Personally, I prefer these. I know what a good connection looks like on open barrel, and hell of a lot cheaper to work with open barrel. I'd recommend using a good bit of tooling like these. These Delphi crimps, ratchet in for mechanical advantage. It does mean that you need to do each crimp separately from each other, where there's some tools on the market that will do both. I always get a, a better, more consistent result using the Delphi ones. For an example though, I got these off Amazon. I'm pretty sure they were about a tenner, maybe 15 quid. And these do both your wire and your sleeving at the same time. So I've lined that up into these crimps, feed the wire into there. You can tell it's gonna be a good crimp. However, it's not tight enough yet, so I'm gonna move down a size. So now we've got a really, really nice crimp. So we're locked in perfectly on the wire and we're locked in great on the sleeving. If I got a set of pliers on there and a set of pliers on there and pulled like mad, what would happen is the wire would split before the crimp let go. On the DT connectors, the female pin goes in the male block. So you're just gonna push it through one of the holes on the back. You're gonna see it drop into place. And if you give that a tug now, it's not going anywhere because it's locked just behind that gate there. If you wanted to remove this pin at any point in future, the way you do it is you take the wedge out you lift that up and then that releases it. So let's say that's the only pin that I'm putting into these six pins. Then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put my weather seal ring on and then I'm gonna get my wedge and that's gonna push into place. And now we've got our pin at the top and then these ones are all empty. Now what I probably wanna do at that point is seal off the rest of my pins. Now the way to seal off the rest of my pins is by putting these little sealing pins in. This one's sealing around the wire, the rest of them are sealed with the pins, and then the weather seal here is gonna go into the female side. So if I do pin one on this side, again, push it through, it locks itself into place, and then what I need to do with this one is the locking is with a wedge. This just keeps them gates closed, put it in some pliers, drop it in, that locks in place. Fantastic bit of kit, waterproof, perfect for engines, perfect for engine bays. That's Deutsch Connectors.
touch connectors, whatever you want to call them. I change it up all the time. I'd use them for absolutely everything if I could. Like I said, I've got DTP connectors for my fuel pump. Both my ignition and my injection are on DT connectors. DTM connectors on my wideband. I've got 12 pin DT connectors. If you watch any of my other videos of the wiring loom, you'll see all the gray blocks. They're all Dutch connectors. Dutch connectors, Dutch connectors. Bloody lovely. Simply lovely. Go Deutsch. Goes without saying that the Germans, I know what they're doing. I'm assuming the German, if they're not, it's a terrible name for a company, isn't it? But there. DTM for up to 7.5 amp, DT for up to 13 amp, and DTP for up to 25 amp. Nailed on. Fantastic. That's that. I've got no more to say. If you like this video, actually like it, subscribe. Do whatever you want, mate. Do whatever you want. Comment. Comment literally out. I don't even care what you comment. Comment your favourite brand of automotive lubricant. Sin a bit.